Hello, we'd like to invite you to join us for a short visit in a CHP installation for Silva, part of the Pif de Bois group in Poland. Pif de Bois is a French softwood sawmiller and industrial manufacturer of timber solutions. During the visit, we'll present the technology supplied by Vinke and some technical parameters of the installation. The high efficiency cogeneration plant, which was delivered turnkey in Vielle, turns production residues into heat and electricity. The 20 MW boiler delivers 23 tons per hour of superheated steam to a steam turbine generating 4.8 MW of electricity and 13 MW of hot water in the hydro condenser. Another 4.6 MW of heat is extracted in the flue gas condenser, making the energy plant very efficient. All heat is consumed by the dryers used for the production of wood pallets and construction wood. At first, let's have a look at the fuel handling part of the project, which includes a big fuel storage, an overhead crane, two receiving hoppers, a chain conveyor and a hydraulic pusher. The installation is designed to burn a wide variety of woody biomass with a moisture content of 30 to 60% on wet base. At nominal load, the boiler consumes 10 tons of fuel each hour. Most of this biomass is coming directly from the production of silva, another part is purchased externally. The fuel hole is big enough to accommodate fuel for 72 hours of boiler operation, meaning no operators need to be present during weekends. The fuel is dumped into a 5 meter deep dumping pit from where an overhead crane takes the fuel to the storage hole. The fully automated crane mixes the fuel in the storage hole and weighs the fuel before dumping it into two receiving hoppers. After the hoppers, the oversized fuel parts are sieved out before sending the fuel over a Trasmec chain conveyor, delivering the fuel into our fuel launch system. A hydraulic pusher forces the fuel into the furnace. A pusher system was chosen because the fuel can come in many different sizes. Another key component of the Vinke boiler is the dynamic semi-water-cooled step grate, which is an in-house Vinke technology. As the pusher brings the fuel in the furnace, it arrives on the semi-water-cooled step grate consisting of five different zones. For each zone, both the velocity and the airflow can be set separately, giving us full control over the combustion process. The size of the grate is chosen to be able to handle the differences in fuel during winter and summer. After combusting the fuel, the main goal is of course recuperating the energy and reducing the polluting emissions into the air. To do so, a vertical water tube boiler was installed in combination with an ESP filter, a flue gas fan and a flue gas condenser. The combustion takes place in the furnace, which is already fully integrated in the boiler membrane walls. These membrane walls absorb heat immediately to minimize the risk of clinkering and fouling in the furnace. The boiler is a vertical water tube boiler consisting of a radiation part, a convection part with its evaporator and superheater bundles, a steam drum and an economizer. The boiler has a maximum firing capacity of 20 MW, which enables it to produce 23 tons per hour of superheated steam at 480 degrees Celsius and 65 bar A. An automatic boiler cleaning system consisting of soot blowers on superheated steam, cleans the tube bundles of the convection part and the economizer. All ashes are collected and transported automatically to the ash containers. Boiler ashes and filter ashes are collected separately. After the economizer, the flue gases are pulled through an ESP and through the ID fan to a flue gas condenser. The flue gas condenser provides extra low temperature heat for the dryers and increases the overall plant efficiency. As the boiler recuperates heat and energy, another unit needs to convert it into useful media, being electricity and hot water. This unit is referred to as a turbine island, consisting of a steam turbine and a hydro condenser. The high pressure steam is sent directly to a Siemens turbine. The multi-staged reaction turbine is designed to maximize the electrical output while expanding the steam. The turbine is coupled to a generator producing 4.8 MW of electricity. The produced electricity is used to cover the boiler's own consumption, the electrical consumption of the complete plant and to be delivered to the public grid. 
After the turbine, the low pressure steam flows through a water-cooled condenser generating the heat in the form of hot water for the dryers of the customer's plant. Island mode operation is possible enabling the cogeneration to operate independent from grid conditions. Each Vinca boiler is controlled via a customized visualization system which can be entered both on-site and online. Online connection to the HMI gives the operator but also the Vinca engineers the opportunity to adapt the settings if required. The Vinca boiler is designed to operate at least 72 hours without the presence of an operator. You might have noticed that the boiler in Vielle is installed 6 meter below ground level. The installation in a pit is a consequence of a building height limit of 15 meter to minimize the impact on the environment. The erection and commissioning on a brown field in the middle of an operating plant was a second challenge which had to be dealt with. With a maximum of 150 people on site during erection, the impact on the production of the customer had to be minimized. This finalizes our brief tour around the cogeneration plant in Poland. Thank you for watching and see you on site.